In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to remove people from pictures. Not only people, objects, any elements you don't want. It's so easy that your grandma can do it, your two-year-old can do it. I dare you to challenge me on that one in the comment section down below. So let's get into the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you find this video useful. Welcome to another episode of Photoroom Editing Tutorial where I teach you how to use Photoroom, the best AI photo and design app for e-commerce. And by the way, funny story, did you know that Photoroom was born because our CEO, Matt, struggled with removing background while using a software that we all know, <clears throat> Photoshop. Uh, unnecessary difficult, right? If you have ever tried to remove anything with Photoshop, you might know that it's just like, why? Like, why do you make it so difficult? He thought to himself, there must be an easier way to do it. And there wasn't. And that's why he created a photo room. And here we are now. Okay, so how do you remove people with photo room? Very easy. All you have to do, when you start on create page, find retouch tool. You can find it in all tools and upload your picture, then choose picture from your camera roll and you will see two options here, erase and fill. We're gonna focus on erase first, but fill is honestly one of the coolest features that we have that I can guarantee you that many of you might not know about, but it can help you so much in your editing content creation process. So I will get into that later in this video, but let's focus on removing first. All you have to do is you choose erase. In the bottom, you will see a slider that you can adjust to make your brush thicker or thinner, depending on how precise you wanna be. And then all you have to do is that you draw over the person that you want to remove. In this case, we're gonna remove Aisha, our content manager. Sorry, not sorry, Aisha, we're doing this for science. And as you can see, Aisha is gone. It literally took two seconds. Since we were standing close to each other, sometimes what you have to do is that you have to zoom in and make your brush a bit thinner and remove some details. Get into the corners and remove the small elements. And this is the final result. You wouldn't even know that Aisha was there. You would think that I was just chillaxing there by myself, but no. Hmm. And I know what you might be thinking right now. Well, Kaya, it is so easy to remove people. Is it equally easy to remove objects with Photoroom? Yes, it is. Basically the same rule applies. Let's say that we wanna remove that painting from the wall because let's be honest, it's not a very nice painting. All you have to do again is that you draw over the object that you wanna remove or drawing all over that painting and it disappears, magic. And as you can see, the background is white, just like the wall next to the painting so Photoroom is really good at analyzing your image and understanding what you want and I know that this example might not seem like a very difficult one what happens when the background is more complex so let's take this image with a lot of little details lots of palm trees can we remove that man from this picture and still make the picture supernatural yes we can all you have to do is draw over that man, the man disappears. And as you can see here, again, Photoroom analyzed the background and understood that what you need, where the man used to be is palm trees. So it looks supernatural and realistic. You can also use retouch to remove parts of an object. So let's say you're shooting a campaign with a model who has a little tattoo, but you don't want that tattoo. It doesn't have to be a little one, any tattoo. Anything you would wanna remove, all you have to do is that you zoom in on the object, you use the brush and you draw over the element that you wanna remove and it disappears. Another great example is removing people from the background. When you're shooting a campaign, when you're making content for social media, you might want the full focus to be on your product, your model, your object, or you might also want to consider protecting people's privacy. Whenever you're shooting out and about in the streets, on the beach, there's most likely gonna be people in the background that you don't want. So again here, what you have to do is that you zoom in and you draw over people that you wanna remove. And here is the final result. As you can see, looks supernatural. 
And of course, this can be a super cool tool when you're vacationing in Bali and you want people to think that you woke up that early for that sunset, there was no people on the beach and you just removed them all. But those who can actually really benefit from retouch is mostly businesses, business owners, or e-commerce shop owners. Because when you're shooting your product, you really want A, the full focus to be on your product, B, removing unnecessary elements will make your image more visually appealing and better pictures sell more products. That's just a fact, right? And C, you also maintain your professional image as a business when you create beautiful, clean images without any unnecessary clutter. Okay, so remember when I told you that retouch has actually two functions. One is erase, removing object, but the other one, fill, what is it? Well, I'm so glad that you asked because I'm gonna show you right now. So let's say that you regret your choices, just like I regretted my choices in life of removing Aisha and that painting. After all, Aisha is pretty great. That painting wasn't that great, but you know what? Now I'm just looking like a loner slash loser standing there by myself. What do I do with this? I could bring Aisha back or I could just use AI fill to add something. This is what AI fill is for. You can add objects or people to your image. All you have to do is that you draw the same way as you do with arrays, but here you're just drawing a shape of the object that you want to add here. So I'm going to draw and plant and I say plant in a pot, I will have free option of different plants. I can also change that or pick one that I want and ta-da, there is a plant in my picture. Yes, it's, it's like magic. You can actually really do that. But what if I decide again that the, the random plant in the middle of my picture maybe wasn't the best idea. Let's play with art. So I will draw a shape of a painting on the wall and I will say modern art painting. Photoroom will give me a bunch of options of AI generated art that I can put on the wall. I can pick one and this is the final result. As you can see, this painting is even better than the original one and it looks super natural. So of course, messing around with Photoroom, removing unwanted objects, unwanted people from your life, like your ex, you can remove him or her from your pictures, right? Can be fun, can be useful as well. But this tool is actually mostly useful for business owners and e-commerce sellers. Why? Because you can basically create a whole product photo shoot with these features. Let me show you an example. You own a jewelry business and you took a picture of your product, your earrings. At first, when you were taking this picture, you thought that this little detail, the leaf in the corner, it makes sense, it's a vibe. But when you took your pictures, you realize that it's not a vibe. That happens a lot when you shoot. But thanks to retouch feature, you have this flexibility to edit your image after you've already taken this picture. You just use retouch to remove the leaf. And same goes with fill. You can also add objects to your image. Instead of creating a photo shoot with flowers, buying flowers, putting it around your objects, what you can actually do is that you can use fill to draw a flower and add a beautiful natural flower to your image that you might want to use for Instagram or in your marketing or any other social media platform to make your image more visually appealing. This can also come in handy if you shot your products and you shot multiple products in one picture, but you decided that one of the products, it's not going to be launched. You need to remove it. Thanks to Retouch, you don't have to reshoot your products. All you do is that you draw over that particular product and you remove it from your shot. Beside removing objects or people, Photoroom is also great at removing backgrounds. Let me show you an example with these earrings. All you have to do to remove background from this picture is that you go on Photoroom, you choose start from photo, and Photoroom will immediately remove the background for you. You want nicer background? choose AI backgrounds and you will get a bunch of recommendation for a background that will suit your object. You can play with different styles, you can customize. In this case, I went for fabric because I felt like these earrings will really pop out, they will look nicer on a nice piece of fabric than like a table. Another cool thing that you can do here is that you can insert layers. You can add multiple layers to your pictures and I know that many of you are curious about it because I often see these comments 
comments on YouTube, like how do you add extra layers to your design on Photoroom? Super easy. All you do is that you tap on insert and here you can choose whatever picture you want. I went from that previous picture I created with that beautiful purple flower. Photoroom removed the background. I didn't want the earrings. I only wanted the purple flower, so no problem. All you have to do is you tap on edit cutout, you remove the object that you don't want from that picture and you're left with the flower, the object that you want. And don't be alarmed if the background changes slightly. As you can hear, Photoroom did change it a little bit. Why? Because it added shadows. AI analyzes your picture, so it understood that if we put that extra flower in this picture to make it look more natural, you also need shadow. You need the fabric to move slightly to make this image more natural, right? A pro editing tip on Photoroom is to create your own brand kit. What is a brand kit? You can check out this video that I just created about brand kits on Photoroom. It's basically a super useful tool that helps you to keep your brand identity consistent. So in this case, when I'm editing this picture, I can tap on insert and go directly to my very own personal brand kit that you can create on Photoroom. And I can choose one of the cutouts that I already have saved in my brand kit. So I saved this cutout of a flower because I like flowers. I often reuse them in my design and I can add it directly to this image. And I can also add to my brand kit as I go. So for example, the name of this brand is gonna be Zoe. I want to save that text, the cutout of my text, name of the brand, Zoe in my brand kit because if that's the name of my brand I will most likely reuse it a lot right so I don't have to like write it every single time choose the right font choose the right color no I just put it in my design then I tap on it and you will see a little brand kit icon that will appear and you tap on that you choose that and you save your text cutout in your brand kit so you can reuse it very easily in your future designs you can find brand kit in your content in the very bottom left and you will see brand kit in the left upper corner. As you can see, I already created my brand kit and the text cutout that we just added together is already in there. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any other questions, just leave me a comment down below. I'll personally answer it. And yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.